Okay. Um, good morning, everyone. Good morning. How are you doing? How is the this week's challenge going for you? How is Web3 going? Have you managed to set up the environment? Are you making any progress? Let's hear from everybody. Uh, I would like to know. Sorry for interruption, Aldous. Okay. Maybe before, before you start, I would like to pass uh, one announcement. Okay. Uh, for people who are here, I've reached out to some people asking uh, their pictures in inbox. So you better check your Slack inbox. If you haven't submitted your picture to me yet, please do that. Yeah, I've reached out to some people. You can check your inbox if you, I didn't reach out to you. We need it better there uh, at least. Thank you. Okay. Um, thank you for that. So, guys, please um, attend to that. Okay, so um, I would like to start us off with our... Oh, okay, we see that Anastasia is here. Hi, Anastasia. Hello, hello, hi. Sorry, everyone, for being late. Hi, we were waiting for you. Okay. <laughs> um, so, would you like to take over? It'd be nice. It's okay. Have we started uh, the? Have we finished with the announcements? Maybe just catch me up, Harry. Yes, we finished the announcements. We're just waiting for the trainees to start on their updates. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, thank you. Do we have, okay, so do we have any volunteers? By now, you all know how the stand up goes. What have you been doing? What did you do yesterday? What are you planning to do today? And do you have any challenges so far? So, do we have any volunteers? Okay, I can just go ahead and start taking names. Do we have any volunteers? Yes, not nine. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you clearly. Okay. Uh, since uh, yesterday was uh, a holiday, I didn't do much yesterday, but I start setting up the environment today. Uh, I was successful while uh, setting up the sandbox on Docker um, using Windows. Uh, I'm preparing myself to proceed to the next tasks. Okay, thank you for that update. Not nail any blockers so far? Uh, not so much. Uh, it's it's going smoothly so far. Okay, how about you, Tiberik? Uh, okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. So, um, I was working with uh setting up the environment, like most of the trees. But uh, while I was uh like uh, downloading the sandbox. Uh, uh after downloading the sandbox i was i was trying to do the first uh like uh, demo project to, to check whether my environment is set up properly and for some reason it's not working uh, i've tried to uh do it with testnet the sandbox so uh i'm trying to figure out that problem and to solve that uh other than that, I'm trying to also do the front end and the back end part. So I'm setting, up, I've set up those environments, and I'm currently working on uh, the sandbox part. Thank you. Thank you, Barak. So maybe just to ask which of the system are you running? I didn't hear. The operating system, which operating system are you running? Uh, I'm using a Debian. Any specific distribution, sorry? Linux. Linux, which distribution? Because uh, I kind of thought that Sandbox does not have so many issues with the Linux distribution. So maybe any specific distribution you're using, maybe we can find someone else on the same distribution. We get their inputs. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm using uh, it's a, a Debian. It's the same as uh, Ubuntu. 
So I think I've seen some other trainee that have faced the same uh, problem as mine, but I'm not sure if uh, they, they have said that pass, we can pass that part, but I'm not sure if that can be done because uh, that part might be necessary for the next parts that we are supposed to do in the project. So yeah, I'm trying to reach out to the trainees and they're also helping me. So yeah, I think I'm gonna like, solve it by the end of the day. Um, okay, okay. So, which other trainees that maybe we could just follow up? Who else is on the same operating system as Tibarek and maybe facing the same issue? Have you found a uh, work, work around? So, for Andanet and Mohammed, um, I'm assuming the hands are for the for the stand up contribution, the update. If not, maybe you can just unmute if it's uh, in line with Tibarek's issue. Okay, okay, okay. Tibarek, uh, which other trainee was in the same? Is in the same? You, you mentioned that you saw someone else. Which other trainee is in the same operating system and experiencing the same issue? Tibarek. I think uh, it was uh, Adjad. Adjad. I thought Adjad is running. Uh, a Mac operating system. I did that. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So, uh, so I think the problem is when we are uh, after uh, uh, we I have run like the Sandbox app this net uh, line. It stops while it's processing the accounts. There is a part where it's processing the account, so it freezes at, at zero percent. Okay, so maybe unless we look uh, at it, maybe um, afterwards, I don't think I have seen that issue or heard about it, but uh, maybe we just focus on it after the stand-up for someone else who's going through the same issue so that we can just find a solution for for it. No one else is communicating and that they've faced the same issue and... Uh, and yeah. solved it. So maybe we'll just look at it through Slack and um, if we can find a solution for it. Okay. Okay. Over to you, Andanet. Oh, good morning, everyone. Uh, yesterday, uh, uh, more mostly, I spent my time just uh, reading about uh, uh, blockchain and. Uh, I, I, other like blockchain protocols uh, as to how they just uh, do consensus and all those stuff. Uh, I, I was also like spending quite a lot of time reading about these, reading our own Al uh, algorithms documentation about the uh, blockchain and how it works, the governing uh, uh, like rules, protocols and ways of like things uh, the algorithm like uh, operates so it's been a, a very educational uh, day for me and uh, i've also uh, managed to uh, download and run the sandbox on windows operating system uh, uh specifically on wsl2 ubuntu uh, uh ubuntu operating system so i'm using wsl2 so it's just running uh, well but uh I, I, I've, uh, I've also like I just use the to run the sandbox there are actually uh, I think two ways to do to do it uh, actually no, more than two ways uh, we can uh, just uh, start it using this uh, slash sandbox app and uh, or we can also use the sandbox up with the testnet flag so if we do uh, with this testnet flag we can uh, run it on uh, the testnet of algorand but uh, the i think uh, what spark is facing is uh it's when we when we do that when we we use the test uh, uh testnet up 
I mean, when we use test nets uh, in the app uh, command, uh, it downloads uh, around 1000 uh, nodes. So like it tries to uh, take, I mean, copy the test net into your sandbox environment. So it takes uh, a, a while to like download all of the nodes. So uh, if you are, if you don't have a good internet connection, it will just uh, fail. And I have, a, I have the same issue actually. Uh, I just uh, wanted to just run the test net, but when I tried to do that, it just failed. So I just go back to the uh, using the just the sandbox app. So uh, that just worked for me. So uh, I've also downloaded the JavaScript SDK to interact with the uh, APIs. And uh, uh, so far, I haven't like done much on the SDK, but I just created a, a an account. So like using that account on the uh, on the Algorand uh taste dispenser like i just uh, paste pasted it and just created a, a transaction like just to, this this dispenser dispenser just gives you algo balance to your account because like when you first create an account you won't have these uh, uh algos in it so uh using that uh, practice technically we can uh, create a transaction we can also have that transaction ID to us and to uh, yeah do a lot of things, but I haven't just uh, ex, uh, ex uh, play with the API or the SDK in the API as well. So like the, at the end of the day, I'm gonna be doing that, and that was my progress. Okay, thank you, Andenet, for that detailed, detailed update. And the main thing I got is that uh, also, like, Tiberek still facing an issue with testnet. And uh, maybe to ask the entire um, the entire team, has anyone been successful connecting to, to testnet? Anyone? Maybe as we go ahead to Mohammed, if you've been able to connect to testnet, just um, go ahead and mention it on the... Um, on the chat so that uh, we can go ahead to Mohammed. But uh, if you've actually been able to connect the test net, or if you have not, and maybe the sandbox app is already running, you can just try connecting test net as of now. Then you give us uh, feedback on how it's going on for you. Okay, over to you, Mohammed. So, uh, good morning. I uh, hope you doing well. Uh, so, yesterday I focused all my efforts. Uh, on installing uh, Linux, uh, specifically Ubuntu. Um, yes, um, I tried to trans transfer all my files, but I faced uh, power outages. Um, I, I couldn't do much, but this morning, and currently I'm installing, I'm installing uh, Ubuntu. Uh, it's running well. It's going to run well, as I think. Uh, I couldn't... Uh, do any anything and any progress uh, until I install uh, Ubuntu or Linux so that I could proceed to the tasks and the project well. So uh, that was mainly my focus uh, during yesterday. Okay, thank you for that update, Mohammed. And uh, it's good to hear that you've shifted to Linux finally, and I hope your journey will be smoother with, uh, with Linux. So over to you, Fiseha. Yeah, uh, hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so uh, it was a nice day yesterday. I managed to set up uh, the SDKs and the whole sandbox uh, networks. But I just have a quick question for Andonata actually. Uh, I thought he said he uh, managed to set up an account in the testnet uh, network environment. And I, I thought uh, the, that was Tabarak's question. Maybe I am wrong. So uh, maybe maybe he can just quickly tell us what it is actually 
that is required for us to do in the test net. Uh, and yeah, maybe that's that's my question. Because I think the test net, I, I started doing the uh, transactions using the uh, div, uh, .div extension. And I got like around three accounts with uh, already uh, uh, with a, with a, an uh, with an, with algos, but I couldn't move the algos between these transactions. So maybe uh, I I got confused in that part because how are we going to make these transactions between networks, and how is that going to be recorded in the actual uh, main? I'm sorry, test uh, next. If that question makes sense, uh, underneath. Uh. I I uh, I actually haven't like explicitly said that I uh, created an account on the test net, uh, uh, but like I have a, a question before like I attempt to answer it. Uh, did you manage to like uh, run the test net on your sandbox? Uh, for example, when you do like a slash sandbox uh, up test net like. It, it did it just successfully run for you, fish? Actually, uh, I uh, the first thing I did was uh, set up the dev. Yeah, can you, I'm sorry, I was talking. Can't you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Uh, oh, okay. So the thing is, uh, I actually set up the development environment first, and I got three accounts not the test net. I was first doing the everything in the development environment. But as I seem to uh, progress a little bit, I found this error where I the where it basically is telling me that the uh, transaction is not going to be validated because of a signing problem. So uh, when I searched this problem, I, I found to uh, have this uh, this reference to the test uh, network. So right now I am setting up the test network and it's uh, around, uh, it's just downloading the, the nodes you are actually talking about or the accounts, I think. And I didn't try the test uh, network, but that's the question. How how um, exactly are, are we supposed to do this on the test network? Because I don't think there's enough funds to start with uh, in the test network. One and two. Why? Why? Why can't I use the uh, development environment where the algos were already uh, there for us? Uh, it was already populated with algos. Yeah. Uh, I, so, like the case is that I I didn't actually uh, run the test net. So, like when I when I when I do that, just it felt like uh, after downloading the. Uh, I think uh, eighty percent of the nodes from the test net. Uh, so, uh, you know, in the sandbox environment, what it tries to do is just instead of like connecting you directly to the test net, it actually uh, c copies or like downloads uh, that nodes to your sandbox so that so that you can inter interact with it. Uh, but uh, when I do that, it just failed. So. Uh, I just go back to like using the sandbox app. I think that will uh, that spins up the development, uh, uh, the dev net. I, I guess uh, if there is such thing, but like uh, uh, I, I haven't just uh, interact with the uh, transaction APIs. Like I haven't uh, done that, but I just create using the JavaScript SDK. It's just pretty straightforward and easy to. Uh, create uh, an account like multiple account as much as you like and those accounts doesn't have the algos in them so like in order to have algos you can uh, use the test needs algo dispenser I'll just drop uh, the link into the chat uh, that those dispensers uh, to have uh, algos in them so like it will give you like five algos like uh, for those uh, accounts so uh, that's what i did so far actually i haven't like 
uh, faced what you what you're facing right now, or like I couldn't just give you an answer for that. I'm sorry. Okay, thanks. Thank you very much. Uh, yes. And the next, were you able to dispense? You, you use the faucet, right, to dispense your to give your accounts of how goes all the accounts at once. Uh, come again, please. Uh, were you able to were you able to get how goes for all of the accounts at once? At once, I I, I haven't like uh, I don't know the ways. I just uh, use this. Uh, Sites. Use the faucet. What? The faucet that dispenses uh, our gas. Yeah, uh, I like. It's just uh, you just drop your uh, public key to this uh, site, the, the dispenser, and it just uh, will like fund it. Uh, you, you, it will fund it with algos. Yes, it's, that's what it does actually. Uh, I don't know we, uh, the ways to interact with it through the APIs or any other way. Uh, I, you just go ahead and just copy and paste on the site and you'll get the output. Okay. That's what I was wondering. I was wondering if I, if I, if I can fund all the accounts at once or I have to do it one by one. What, this one there, uh, with public key, I think it has to be one by one. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did actually. Yeah, you just copy the public key and just get funded. But uh, there might be like a way. Uh, I haven't like explored enough. Uh, but if I get a, uh, if I come to know how it works, like I'm gonna sh share okay. with you. Like I think like there are the way to migrate uh, the the private network to the test net. Yeah, uh, the, it's in the documentation. It says there is a way, but I haven't looked at it. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll I, 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 I think you can find it on the documentation because, like, it said like over and over, like which network to. There is a section that that says like which network to select, and so like on on there you can find. I guess. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Okay. Okay, okay, thank you, Internet, for that detailed uh, discussion. So, I hope the others did learn and that they say how you got an answer to your response. So, we are still struggling, that we are not struggling, but no one has been able to connect with Testnet, no one that we know of. I assume, yeah, still no one that we know of, but yeah, Internet, that was a really good discussion. So, maybe if someone else wants to contribute to give us an update of uh, yesterday. And maybe their plans for today. Maybe Eddie just because uh, you are able to speak. Can you just give us a summary and update of what you've been able to do so far? I have not been able to do much. I got stuck. I got stuck yesterday because I the tutorial I was following uses a uh, text net, which which uh, uh, for some reason was not uh, uh, got stuck. It wasn't. Uh, it couldn't even finish downloading the first one thousand. So, so that's why I, I'll, I'll be using just the stand up, but it won't be connected to step test net. So, I think I should do that. I should do just that first and find a way to migrate it to the test test net network. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you for that. The same issue with the um, with test net that keeps coming up. So. Anyone else who wants to give us their update, something they've been able to do, or their plans for today? Even if you've not been able to do anything, just tell us what did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Any volunteers? Yes, yes, Jim Ross. Hello, Dindros, can you hear me? You are, I see you are unmuted, but I can't hear anything. Okay, I'm muted again. Okay, are you talking?
Okay, so Ginger, uh, we can't hear anything. Maybe try to reconnect if you are actually talking. We just try to reconnect and uh, we get that update. So Margaret, Margaret, I saw your hand go up twice. So Margaret, how are you? Um, hi, hi Anastasia. Hi everyone. I hope you're having a good day. Um, yesterday I took some time to get familiar with the concepts behind blockchain and um, smart contracts. And then today morning I started the installations, but then I think I have a I had already installed my Docker, but I think I have a problem connecting to the Docker daemon because I keep getting that error over and over again. And I'm not sure if I can proceed to do installations uh, for Sandbox before then. But yeah, I'm working on that, fix that, and then hopefully I can start uh, setting up my environment. Yep. Okay, so maybe Margaret to ask, are you on Windows or a Linux distribution? I am on Windows, but I use WSL2. And yeah. Okay, so maybe just uh, a few things. The the error you're getting is that Docker daemon is not running, right? Yep. Okay, so maybe just a few uh, small fix, something I did notice. Um, I also run Windows and I got a few issues on the same and I was able to, to solve that. So for anyone also on um, Windows and running and running um, Docker, so maybe just on your PowerShell, you can try Sorry, the command. Sorry, I didn't hear you from my... You know, I'm sending a command that you can run from your PowerShell. WSL minus L minus V, this will tell you the distribution you're running, if it is running or either if it has stopped and the version, just to ensure that you're actually running WSL2. If your distribution is not running, if you're on um, Windows, I actually hope that someone is following. Maybe Margaret, if you are, are you following me? I am. Okay, so maybe what's the output on PowerShell for that specific command? Uh, on my project or just on Ubuntu? Just on PowerShell, Windows okay. PowerShell. Um, uh, Ubuntu is running version 1, Docker desktop running version 2, Docker desktop data running version 2. Okay, so that means Docker is running. When you open when you open Docker itself, the application, uh, bottom left, uh, the section, is it indicating that that is the engine? Is it running or not? It's when you open Docker, Docker itself? Running. Engine is oh. running. Yes. Okay, that means, that actually means that Docker daemon is on. Where are you running your command for, where are you getting the error that Docker daemon is not running? Um... On my GitHub project on VS Code. And um, on, on, the, on VS Code, which terminal are you using? Is it like a PowerShell I'm, terminal or I'm like a specific? I'm using the WSL terminal. Could you just maybe change it to like a PowerShell terminal on VS Code? Like a PowerShell terminal and maybe run that. Uh, what's the difference? Um, I'm, I, I'm always confused with uh, running commands on different terminals mm -hmm. because I, okay, I'm not so familiar with it, but I feel like um, you it's like messing up with environments or location where you're running. So can you elaborate a bit on that and using different terminals and if it has any effect? Uh, okay, so unfortunately for Windows users, we have this um, like a million environments and if you install maybe Docker on a certain environment, it tends to affect other environments. I've had this issue of uh, 
you're running something on VS Code and Swaki. So you run it on Jitbash. Like I was I was trying Sandbox and it's working on Jitbash environment, but not on any other terminal. And it's, it's so unfortunate for Windows users. That's why we keep seeing just shift to Linux. Because yeah, I've tried Sandbox and it's only for me it only run on the on the Jitbash, on the Jitbash terminal. So that's why I'm seeing specifically for the Docker. When I'm on VS Code, if I'm using a PowerShell kind of terminal, it does run for me. So I've not tried the WSL terminal. I just know that WSL is there to ensure that my Linux distribution is working. So it's so unfortunate. That's why you keep saying, please shift to Linux. So unfortunate, but um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, in Windows, we keep trying everything that, that will work. Um, one more question. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, last week was my first time using Docker and I created some containers and images uh, on Docker desktop. Okay, so now when I run my current project, I still see containers and images on. Does that interfere with my current project and do I need to like clear them all out before? Did you maybe close the containers like Docker? Is it Docker down? There's a, there's a command okay, that so closes. Yes, underneath, maybe underneath your. Down no, also will do, actually. Uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, it, actually, it doesn't really matter because uh, uh, the like the benefit of using the Docker is just to have a separate like isolated environment to run your application. So, like if you run another application, it doesn't really matter. It just runs so you can just leave it out there but uh, in order to utilize your resources well you might also want to stop those containers so if you do docker ps you see the list of running containers so you can uh, just copy the id of the container and do uh, docker stop and paste that id of the container the container id and it will stop those containers for you so like you can work on your uh, and for your previous uh, question, uh, it's recommended to have a terminal. Yeah, uh, you, I mean, Windows terminal. It, it's uh, it's just a, a Linux kind of terminal. Uh, run uh, PowerShell, the CMD, or uh, the Ubuntu uh, operating system on that terminal. So I'll send you the address to download if you haven't like if you haven't uh, downloaded already the, on the microsoft store you can go ahead and just type download, term download what terminal sorry uh, you, you haven't heard me no i didn't uh, okay uh it is uh the first one or the second one then? uh was... you were talking about going to download something a feature uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so you get the first part, right? To, to stop your yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, the, the 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 second thing that I said is, uh, you are just uh, asking uh, which terminal should you use, right? So yes. like in Windows, like if you are using WSL two, and if you want to run uh, this uh, Linux uh, t terminal. There is a two way I think you can go about it, right? So you can just uh, go to the start menu and just boot up your Ubuntu and like use that terminal. But uh, I uh, I see, I saw in the documentation that they recommend using the terminal application. There is a terminal application. You can download it on uh, Microsoft Store. So th that uh, when you boot up that terminal, you can just, uh, from the drop down, you can select which uh, shell or which uh, terminal you want to run. So uh, it would run your Windows PowerShell. It will run your command prompt. If you like, you have if you have uh, Azure Cloud Share, it also run that. And like, it, and it also uh, will give you the option to select Ubuntu. So you can from that drop down, like at the top, you can select Ubuntu, and it will just run for you okay maybe uh, if i share my screen real quick uh and show you the terminal 
it might does that help or like you you get this? um yes if you're not taking them yeah no I, I i get it thanks okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah if i get any question i will come to sure, you in sure. box and slide. Oh, thank oh. you Okay, thanks, Andinit. I think, Margaret, what Andinit was trying to explain is actually on the um, on the repository for Algorand Sandbox. They have a uh, step-by-step -step for Windows users. What she was just explaining is on um, on that section, and they, that exact Windows terminal to download is also on that repository. They read me for the Algorand Sandbox repository. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. And, uh, and that you have got some help, Margaret. Uh, yes, it was helpful. Uh, okay. okay. And maybe just to ask uh, when you shifted your terminal, so you able to? You still getting the Docker daemon error? Um, I wasn't sure what command to run there. You could try which which command are you running before <laughs> to get the error? <laughs> Um, I was trying to initialize my project. Mm -hmm. uh, it's okay, it's okay. Let me just uh, shift the terminals. I'm um, sure so PowerShell works. PowerShell works. So let me just give us feedback after you run. You just get any command on Docker. Maybe Docker run Hello World. <laughs> very simple, very direct. I don't know if uh, that can give us the answer because I think if Demon is not running, that will also not run. So we just try and uh, give give us feedback. Okay, over to you, Patrick. Thank you. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Um, so we used to deal with uh, with kind uh, kind of knowing. Uh, what uh, what the challenge for the week is about, but today early in the morning I tried to install uh, Sandbox, but uh, it kept failing. So I don't know I don't know uh, what what I'm doing wrong. I don't know if I can present and show you real quick. Yeah. Okay, I didn't get that uh, clearly. You're saying you're having an issue. Which issue is it? Uh, I have an issue installing Sandbox. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, asking if I can if I can present and uh, and show you very fast about this, about what what I'm doing. Okay, so maybe just a few follow up questions. What operating system are you on, and uh, maybe which guide are you following to install your Sandbox? Uh, I'm using Ubuntu. Um, I'm, the the guide I'm using uh, is this 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 lead me file uh, this this lead me on GitHub from Sandbox. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay, and the error maybe the error you're getting. What's the error you're getting when you do your installations? Um, when uh, when I do a sandbox app, uh, mm -hmm. it, 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 uh, it's saying compose dot cli dot main dot encountered era while bringing up the project. Sorry, compose. Do, do, you, um, do you want me to read it again? Yeah, the error. Uh, it's, uh, it, it is compose.cli.main.exit with metric. Then it mm -hmm. say encountered error while bringing up the project. Okay, okay, okay. So I haven't seen that error. Maybe has anyone encountered the same error when running? Running, yeah, that's running sandbox on Ubuntu. Have we had someone get the same error? Maybe a quick fix? Yes, Simtinan. Hello. Sorry, uh, I have another question. I um, and I don't have anything to say about this. Yeah. Okay, maybe maybe first to get a response. Response for Patrick. Do we have someone who has gotten that error on installing Sandbox? 
Yes, I, sister. Huh? I, I think uh, in the Slack group, Josie has posted the same exact error. So maybe we can go over there and try to figure out figure it out there together. And Josie has actually posted that same error right now. So maybe you two can help each other. Let me see. Okay, okay, so because of time, I think, Patrick, you wanted to share the screen, but because of time, I think it would be best if we just follow up on that error from the Slack. So since Jesus has raised the same issue, maybe we can just use a thread and uh, try to fix it on that specific thread. So, yeah, everyone, if, especially if you're on Ubuntu and it has worked for you, kindly contribute on that, on that thread. Okay, so I hope I hope it will actually work by the end of the day. So before maybe just to wrap up, Tinan, Tinan, you had another question. Uh, yes, I have a question about Docker on Windows in particular because uh, last week I was working on Windows, mm -hmm. and uh, what I didn't understand is that uh, when using Docker to install something, how how does it? Um, I mean, when we use uh, sorry. Uh, uh, usually when we install something in an, in an environment, like when we use pip, uh, it's installed in a, um, a package or, or anything in a particular environment. So you can, if I'm like, I can use different environments in, on my machine, like I can have a particular environment for my, pro, for a project, different from like the base one or something like that. But I don't know how Docker installs things. Does it install it for for like the whole like the base uh, environment or wh where where does the, the the application get installed when you use Docker? Um, I, I didn't get that part. I don't know if my question is clear. Um, yeah, I think I think it's clear. You're asking when you have Docker installed and then you do an installation of a package. Where does it install, especially if you're using Docker? That's that's the question, right? Yes, exactly. Okay, so I have a vague answer. I don't know if maybe underneath underneath seems very experienced on this. I have a vague answer. Maybe underneath you have an exact answer to add that question. Uh, I don't actually have any experience with the uh, the uh, Docker. It's just my first time. But uh, maybe like when you, if you're uh, just running your project on a Docker environment, or if you have the uh, file volume like shared to the your Docker, it will uh, install that dependencies on your Docker. But uh, if you're just uh, installing a container uh, and like didn't share your volume that you're working on, it won't install your package dependencies on your, uh, on Docker. So you might have to like create an image off of like uh, your local uh, environment, if that makes sense. Um, I really don't completely understand how, yeah, I, I don't think I understood you, your, your answer really. Yeah. yeah. Basically, when you do a pip install, when you, uh, for example, are you on Windows? I was on Windows, so my question is about Windows, yes. I, okay, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so on WSL, you have uh, a Linux, or you're on Ubuntu, like, uh, so you have only the terminal, even though, like, you have your, on your terminal, you're on pretty, practically on uh, Ubuntu, so on Ubuntu file system and everything. So. Uh, first of all, in order for you to even to run a Python application or any kind of application, you must like uh, set up your environment. So if you just set up your global environment, it will, uh, for example, you might uh, install an Aconda or like you can also install the right the binary of uh, Python to run Python applications. So if you do pimp install, to uh, any of your projects, even though you're using uh, a Docker, uh, to install in your uh, file system or on your global location. And, but if you're, uh, uh, so if you're, if you share your file volume to match your uh, Docker container, it will just uh, have that dependencies on your container. 
so uh it doesn't just uh, but like whereas if you just uh, uh, download an image uh, when you do like uh, 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 when you download an image from a docker docker hub you have that uh, application with all its dependencies on your machine so when you do docker app it will run that container it is just a solely isolated environment even like that's why you have to do port forwarding to uh, interact with that containerized application okay for example the containerized application might be uh postgres so if you download a postgres sql image from docker hub uh, so that running instance of that docker image would be a container so that, so you have uh, a postgres container running on your machine so in order to connect yeah where, where on my machine it is running on my machine but where is it like uh, maybe I am I'm asking oh, yeah. person, but yeah, where it is running? It's it is running on your. Uh, I think like uh, like it is running on your Ubuntu. I mean, it will connect. I mean, talk to your kernel, right? So like yeah, uh, yeah. It's it's like uh, uh, installing a self-containing an app application on any environment, like any Linux uh, environment per se. So uh, it's just runs, uh, it runs there. So uh, it's not uh, like you can, uh, so, so in order for you to communicate with it is either you have to like communicate through a port, like as if you're connecting to some kind of remote server uh, on the port like exposed in the, the port that you mapped with your host uh, or you can uh, share files or share assets, even like uh, share things uh, you, by just uh, including the or mapping your volume, which means your file or your some specific file path you want to have on both your host and on your uh, Docker container. So that's that's how you do it, but. You can also create an image of your application. Creating an image of your application means your application file systems, the code in every dependencies along with it. And like uh, you can create that as an image by writing a Docker uh, file and it will just uh, does that like uh, it will create that for you. And so you can later like after you host and like pull it back, you can run it uh, on your machine, like so, the running instance will be a container. Okay. It does sense. It might be very long winded, but like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it was. I understood some things, but I still have questions. But I, because of the host seat, uh, thank you. Maybe I will ask you on Slack or somewhere else. Thank you very okay. much. Okay. Okay. You're welcome. For that, I don't know if maybe Gantha would would help from now but what i was just thinking is that docker docker is just uh it gives that os environment but when we do the form of pip install we mainly try to install in like let's say a virtual environment or a base environment so even if we have docker if you don't have a virtual environment then i think all your packages would install in your base environment that's what i'm thinking and uh, if you do have a virtual environment together with Docker, then your packages would definitely go into the virtual environment because the packages go to an environment. Yet Docker is just, it creates this environment specifically to containerize the operating system, not just the packages. So yeah, that was my big, big answer. So yeah, with that, I think we can close up the standup. If there are no more follow up questions, and I for everything you said, you'll follow up on Slack. Just uh, be on the lookout for those Slack threads. And um, I think with that, we can just hand it over to Emilian for our hot seat today. Okay, over to you, Emilian.